Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so I was getting ready this morning and I thought to myself it's the weekend. I was taking a little bit more time over sort of styling my hair because I had a bit more time today. In the week, I'm really, really busy with the job I do. So I haven't necessarily got the time. And of course, with longer length hair, takes a lot more time. So over the weekend, I do tend to style my hair of a little bit more of a style which takes a little bit more time to do. But when I was getting ready this morning, I thought to myself, I've not really spoke on my channel about my current hair length. So my current hair length, I've been growing my hair now for a little while, on and off, had a bit of a sort of halfway through this year, had an experience where I had a cut with a bit of a breakdown in communication with the hairdresser. So that is vitally important. Whatever style you are going for, you need to really get that communication across to whoever's cutting your hair. That is absolutely paramount. They have to know what style you're aiming for. For me, the style I'm aiming for is to have the longer length in the front, but also on a bit of a sort of, um, sort of longer in the front here, but then sort of slowly sort of that graduation down towards a bit more of a longer length sort of at the back here which is happening as you can see that natural sort of kick out at the bottom looks really quite cool and i've been out today this is just from just coming back from being out of course wearing masks and things because of the covid situation and which i still do and i urge everybody to do that to just take responsibility of ourselves to look after ourselves and for everyone else but enough of that because of course that grinds on our lives a lot but it is really really important to of course take responsibility, I think, for ourselves and for others. Um, okay, so hair length is here at the back, and in the front, it's literally just chin length here, probably a little bit more now, and in the back, it's just touching my shoulders almost. So how did I get to this hair length? Well, how I'm getting there now, I'm kind of I'm growing it a little bit longer, the product I swear, I swear by, which got me to this kind of length and gained that thickness and fullness on the top is a product I absolutely love and I wanted to run through just what I'm using to get my hair to this length, what I'm using to look after it at this length and what I would recommend if you're too wanting to grow your hair out. So first things first is density. If you have got fine hair, even though sometimes a longer length of hair can make your hair look even thinner, with the right know-how and the right products, it can still look really, really cool. So if you have got fine hair or even thinning hair and you want to try having longer hair, don't immediately cut yourself out of this because with the right products, you can still enjoy thicker, denser looking hair and growing it nice and strong as well. So things which I have changed since growing my hair longer. I used to wash my hair, I know this is gonna sound absolutely crazy, twice a day. Once in the morning, once at night. Now, why would I do that? So once in the morning, because I always feel that your scalp is an extension of your face, you would not wash your face every day. So that's my morning routine. And then in the evening, because I always have a lot of hair product in my hair, okay, so I would then wash all the hair product out because I would never go to bed or go to sleep with having product in my hair. What I now do is I only wash my hair once in the morning. And then what I do is I use a product to, if I've got my hair like what I have now, I use a product like, for example, the coconut coconut oil leave-in conditioner spray and I'll spray this throughout my hair and then I'll take a comb and then I'll brush my hair back use a single band like this okay so a single band like that and then I'll bring my hair back into a bit more like a men's top knot um, at the back of my head here and I can achieve that okay and because if you're using a wet look product you'd be surprised of how shortish your hair can be it's shorter than this and I actually started to do that um, and it just ties it back it keeps it in good condition you've refreshed your hair from out throughout today and of course you've got that condition element of the coconut oil and all of those properties in there which looks after your scalp and your hair. So that's what I do now of an evening. And that's really helped my hair because number one, it's not washing out all those oils, that natural build up of that product, which sometimes I know we have to wash our hair sometimes a second time throughout the day. It depends what you're doing or if you've been doing sports or what have you, then you may need to wash your hair a little bit more often. But for me right now, if I don't need to, then I don't. So in that case, then I use this product and I wet the hair back and I comb it through and then I tie it up at the back, being really gentle with a band here and careful not to snag the hair. So that's what I do now rather than washing my hair twice a day. And ultimately that has helped my hair become much more sort of, um, it's, it's, it's made my hair feel like that I haven't got that break balance where you've got slightly dry on the end and then you've got really nice soft hair in the middle and then you've got that new hair feeling in the root. Now, it all feels like one. It all feels like my hair's working together type thing. So that's the benefit I found from that. So if you're growing longer length hair, don't wash your hair so often. But of course, if you need to, you need to, then don't fight it. Because at the end of the day, if it's fine or if it's finer hair, if you've got hair and it's starting to get a little bit more um, of a product, build up or if you're looking at your hair and you're thinking it's looking a bit blank, then washed hair looks 
fluffy, it looks fuller, and it looks healthy. But just don't overdo it. So, of course, that brings us on to nicely the choice of shampoo and conditioner. Now, if you're going for a, a longer length hair and you're wanting to grow your hair longer, then I would recommend one of my favourite shampoos. Now, don't be scared off by this. This is in a larger pump formation. It's by Suryoxal. It's L'Oreal Professional. Okay, now this is Suryoxal Gluco Boost. This is step one. I've got the conditioner as well, um, but I haven't got it here for you to show you. But this I really, really like. This is a shampoo which is designed for that anti-thinning, so to keep more hair anchored onto your scalp. It's also got a gluco boost system which makes the hair appear fuller and thicker, so great if you're growing out your hair, and I really, really love that. And I've got a, a clip on my channel for that, which, do have a look, um, I'm going to add two clips which are really going to be helping for growing denser hair, but if you are interested in that shampoo, um, this is an older formulation now because I've had it for quite a while, but there is a new formulation. I do have the video on my channel which is uh, L'Oreal Professional Cerioxal, and please do have a look at that. It's one of, my, one of my first actual ever videos, to be quite honest with you as well. So that's a really great shampoo. Now in terms of conditioner, what I use is I use that straight away after as well, but I don't always. So longer length hair sometimes needs a little bit more nourishment, and of course if you're like me and sometimes you get a bit of a, a dry nape of your neck from the styling products and things you use or for, uh, for example you need a bit more nourishment on your scalp then I really recommend this one which I'm using at the moment which is the ultimate blends and this is the soothing conditioner hypoallergenic it's delicate oak rice milk and organic oat milk it's for delicate scalp and hair now this stuff not only looks after my hair because I've got uh, growing out highlights in my hair as you can see um, but it also looks after my scalp too so it keeps my scalp comfortable well looked after and it also looks after my hair because it's got the uh, rice cream and the oat milk in here as well i leave it in for about five ten minutes if i'm in the shower or what have you and this stuff really works a dream on dry hair it really does bring that nourishment back into the hair so i wash my hair of course now once in the morning i then follow that up after with this conditioner but if that's only if i need a bit more nourishment if not then i go for the cerioxyl gluco boost conditioner as well that's really really nice and that's a great top tip for growing out fine length hair another one i use is the denser solutions by uh, decos technique and that's by vici which i believe is another brand by l'oreal and this stuff is really great as a thickening shampoo with rahamanose and phlox which works at inflating uh, sort of if you imagine it kind of like a sponge it tries to inflate the hair a little bit um, it's not huge the effect but it really does work and I absolutely love this shampoo and the thickening balm which goes with it as well so that's stuff I really recommend for growing out longer length hair now if you are someone who you're a bit concerned that perhaps your hair's not thick enough or you're concerned with how much hair you're seeing when you're styling your hair or when you're washing your hair but you really want to try that really grown out uh grown up a lot, little bit longer hair then the product i absolutely love is by l'oreal professional and this is the cerioxyl and this is the semi-oxidine five percent uh solution now i'm not going to talk about semi-oxidine because i'm going to attach the clip where i talk about semi-oxidine which is really really great and that's in the treatment spray as well which i use by the decos technique uh vici and that's a hair mass re uh, recreating concentrate as well so between these two i jump between them both and what i do Okay, so this one I absolutely love. It's probably my favourite, to be quite honest with you. And that's a glass pipette system here. Okay, then you just squeeze how much you need, and you can see through here. And then you just drop that through your scalp. Or this one, okay, has got a spray. As you can see, I'm nearly all out of this one as well. This one here, really, really great. So same similar formation, but the glass uh, bottle here, okay, a little bit more expensive. This is a 5% stomach oxidine. And in this spray here, this one doesn't say um, what it's got in here. It just says that it's got stomach oxidine in. What is stomach oxidine? It helps you grow fuller, thicker hair and tries to wake up dormant follicles. It's not a miracle worker, but it's another tool in keeping more head on your scalp and making your hair grow thicker and follow and helping you grow and achieve longer length hair whether for man or woman actually so that's really really great um, and i will attach the decos technique review which i've done and the l'oreal stomach oxidine uh, one at the end of this clip as well so please do stay tuned for that and have a look at that one as well and um, they're my favorite clips they really really are and i absolutely love those products so ultimately that is the products we've talked about which help me grow longer length hair another thing is just be really careful in how you're treating your hair so if you want to grow longer length hair 
throw away the harsh brushes, combs and things that I like to use. This is actually a pompadour comb. So if you're styling a pompadour with a blow dryer, of course, with a blow dryer, you need that bit more of a tautness when you're blow drying your hair. So a sort of a wider sort of uh, oblong style brush is really, really great for that and lifting towards the ceiling for the volume. But when you're brushing your hair through, particularly when it's wet, and even if you need to get that conditioner through or if you're spraying like a leave-in spray throughout your hair to look after your hair, and then this is great because it's a wider opening and it gets through your hair. Just pulled my hearing aid out. <laughs> um, but this stuff, this comb really, really works. I buy this one from Amazon. It's for a couple of pounds and it's really, really great. And I do absolutely love it. So that's what I would recommend as well. Just really being more careful with your hair. And in the end, you will look after and in terms of looking after your hair, you will achieve longer length hair. I'm not going to say no time because the best thing you can do, yes, regular cuts, but not that often, okay? Stay away from having your hair cut so often because if you say to a hairdresser or a barber, what have you, wherever you go, they will say regular haircuts. And I've been told every six weeks, that is ridiculous. You would never achieve longer length hair if you kept that routine. You would probably, it would take you years to grow hair to your shoulders to be quite honest with you, I would think, if you're having it cut every six weeks. So I would say every sort of 10 to 12 weeks, maybe even longer, if you can go longer and you don't use heat on your hair, then go longer. For me, I keep my side short is a bit more like an undercut style and then what I do is I use like a band and then I tie it back in like a, a top knot style which you'll see from my channel it looks super cool super sleek you can be professional it can be casual but on the weekends or whenever I've got a bit more time I like having that styled sort of straighter um style uh, and it just looks really really cool being a bit agitated by this neck cheek, wish I would have took it off now, but it looks really, really cool and I like it. And um, so that really grown up look. So this is my hair length where I'm at at the moment. I hope you like it. I certainly do. If you have any questions for me, please leave them down below. I'll do my best to get back to you. If you have any questions about the products or things which we talked about today, these are what I go to for growing out my hair and what I'm continuing to use at the moment. Yes, they're aimed at thicker, fuller hair because for me, I've got finer length hair. As you can see, it's not particularly hugely thick, but it is healthy and I really do enjoy having a longer length hair at the moment. So just because you've got finer sort of textured hair or even really see through sort of style hair, you can still probably not necessarily as long as mine, but you can achieve a longer length hair with the right tools, the right know-how, and you can enjoy thicker looking longer length hair. We have a couple of these products which we've looked at here. They don't have to be expensive, bear in mind as well. Top tip for even just improving your scalp and your hair growth is taking a moment and just massaging your scalp, okay? Massaging your scalp, particularly if you've never ever done it at all, take two, three minutes a day, massage your scalp when you're shampooing your hair, and I absolutely guarantee you, you will notice a change not a huge change or a dramatic absolutely your hair is going to grow tenfold but you'll notice a healthier change in terms of for example you're getting that circulation going on your scalp so therefore you're going to notice a difference in your hair and scalp it's not a miracle worker but it certainly will be another tool to help you grow thicker healthier longer hair of course another thing is diet exercise and everything in moderation i really hope you've enjoyed this clip i certainly have hope you actually like the hairstyle i've got today as well if you have any questions of course for a second time you're saying that please leave them down below and i'll do my best to get back to you I hope you're well and I hope you're enjoying the hairstyle you've got. If not, make a change. A change is as good as the rest is what they always say. Best wishes and I really hope you'll join me for my next clip. Thanks very much. Until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.